here and I have a layout share for you guys. Um, these are layouts that I did in August and September. You're going to have to excuse the noise right beside me. <laughs> the kitten has discovered a plastic bag and is just going bonkers. She absolutely loves it. So you might hear that or her playing with her ball and I apologize. <laughs> um, but I have almost all of my layouts. Most of them are how to kill a kit with style layouts that I've been picking. Um, picking through the last bits of my kit to put together. Some of them aren't, but I thought I would throw them in here and let you see them anyways. The only thing I'm missing is some of the layouts I did for Wild Whisper that they used at the show uh, a couple weekends ago, so they still have them. But uh, other than that, I think I have everything here. Okay, so some of these have process videos. Uh, some of them do not. I'll let you know though. So this is the first one. This is in my July Traveler's Notebook from 2018. This is using the Wild Whisper Talk Foodie to Me collection. And yeah, this was super fun. I love the colors. They're very non-traditional for a food collection. So I pulled out all of these really light pastel colors and I just thought they worked so well together. Um, so that's the first one. I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. And then this is a layout that I did for the um, off the board with Crystal, or I guess pineapple papers. So she has a series that we're doing every month. There's a whole bunch of ladies participating. And we're just taking our inspiration from Pinterest. So this came from... Uh, the tags and doing mixed media tags so I went ahead and made a layout and there is a process video for that and then I also for the same series worked on this one and the inspiration was uh, using quotes or you know having a long title so that is the other one both using the same collections as well because I just thought they were really pretty and is that it? Oh no. And then here is the other Talk Foodie to Me layout that I did for um, Wild Whisper. And I think this one has a process video. So all three of those have process videos. Now is that it? I think so. Okay. Uh, I think you've already, oops, Storm, you're going to knock over my water. Yeah. Um, I think you've already seen this one, and maybe not this one. This is one I just worked on one day by myself, just trying to get these traveler's notebooks done, and I think that's it. Yeah, so no process video for that. I just, I'm just trying to get them done. <laughs> uh, that was in my May traveler's notebook, and then here is a bunch of layouts that I did uh, using the mini kit that I put together. So I pulled out uh, a mini kit from my larger How to Kill a Kit kits. Uh, so I did this layout. This is all using uh, the Wolf Pack collection from Heidi Swap. I did this one. Um, this one. That one. Hold on, I'm going to adjust my blinds a little bit. There we go. And this one. I used the stamp set to create a border on top and bottom. And is that everything? Oh no, one more. Also this one. I loved this collection. It worked so good because it has lots of things that say my pack, my tribe, um, the pack has my back, that kind of stuff. So it works really good for family uh, events and things, but also because it has that wilderness feel to it, it worked really good for pictures that we took when we were up in the mountains in Banff. So I love that. Okay, so those are my traveler's notebooks that I did. And then this is one that does not have any kind of... Um, process video to it. It was kind of a mess of a 
weird experiment that I did. I'm not sure that I like it. I still feel like I might pull it all apart and start again, but I was kind of playing around with the colors and seeing if I could get um, colors that normally would be complementary to each other, like yellow and blue, um, if I could get them to layer up using different, different techniques and different mixed media. So I don't know if I love it. Um, I love the picture. He's super sweet, but this, this may get taken apart and, um, put together in a different way. But basically I just ripped this paper in half covered everything with gesso and made a big mess. So I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I thought I would show you because I think it's really important for people to see that even when we have stuff on YouTube, <laughs> we still screw up sometimes or make things that we're less than, less than happy with. So here's something that for me, I'm still sitting on the fence with it. Um, this one is from August using up again the Wolfpack collection. I just wanted to see how far I could stretch that collection. I had the papers and some of these enamel stickers and puffy stickers and the sticker sheet and the ephemera. So there's another one. No, there's no, um process videos for these, but there is a more detailed layout share with all of this. If I skip over something too quickly and you want to know more about it, you can go down or maybe I'll try putting it as a card up here somewhere in this area. <laughs> um, so you can see that in more detail. So there's another one doing, um, or documenting the Northern lights that we see in my town. This one is a trip to Lake Louise that we took for my daughter's dance competition. This one is the original one. I've shown this quite a few times, but they're just all put together because um, I haven't put this one away. I still don't have an album for 2019 yet. I don't even know how I'm documenting 2019. <laughs> so yeah, this one's just floating for a little bit until I figure that out. Uh, this is one I put together. There is a video that I haven't posted yet, so let me know if you would like to see the process video for this layout. This is, uh, I don't know, I was just playing around. I was kind of inspired by Missy Whedon and how she was ripping strips of paper and kind of creating a vertical column down the center of the paper. So there's a bunch of mixed media in here and lots of embellishment and wood veneer and stuff like that. So the process video is ready to go. If you guys would like to see it, let me know. This one is a double page. Where's the other page? Here we go. Double page layout that I did that goes like, actually goes like this. So this was for um, August's uh, Everyday Inspiration. Sorry, I just like totally blanked out there for a second. Um, August's Everyday Inspiration. The inspiration was a photo with some floaties in it and I did a double page because I just have a lot of pictures from this uh, particular beach day that we went to and I thought it would be lots of fun. So definitely a process video for this one. This one is a layout that I did for the back to school hop with Sarah Scraps. There we go. Um, so I used crayon and I melted the crayon to kind of splatter all over the paper and then just threw in a whole bunch of back to school stuff. So this one was tons of fun to put together. These are all pictures that Francis's teacher actually took and then sent to us at the end of the year. So I love that. I think. It was very sweet to do. Actually, we've been really lucky that most of the teachers my boys have had do that, so I really appreciate that. So there is a process video for this one. This is the layout that I did for the telephone hop uh, that we did with the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. So this was in, whoops, this was in August. 
there is a process video for this as well as links for you to go down and watch the telephone hop all the way through. So we played the telephone game. So when you go, if you want to go and check out this layout, go into the links and you can find the first person from our team and start there and you can watch all the way through and see how her original layout changed and transitioned over time until the last layout. So it's tons of fun. Um, and I love how pretty and dainty this one turned out. This one, um, there is a process video for this one. I don't remember what I did it for. But there is a process video for it. Oh my goodness. Um, so this one I just scraped paint all along the, the background and put it all together with lots of black and white and some gray. I had a lot of fun doing this. So this one is a monochromatic layout that I did using all white. I decided to put it on a black background because I thought that would really make the white contrast quite a bit and you can see all the different textures and the different shades of white. Are they called shades of white? I don't know, tints of white. Uh, but this was done for the Scrappy Sisters Scrap September. So there is a process video for this one as well as a huge playlist with their entire month and the tag videos that uh, came out yesterday, the 30th and all, all that fun stuff. So you can go and check that out too. I had so much fun doing this one. I miss my sweet boy. Um, yeah, it was, it was definitely different, so go check that one out. This is one that I just finished that came out yesterday, September 30th. This was for the Taste the Rainbow Hop that the Crafty Maven Getaway did, and um, we were, we put it to our fans on the, the Facebook page to ask what they thought we should do for a hop and Amber suggested a rainbow hop where we all get one color and do something monochromatic with that color. So there is a huge playlist for that as well and you can see the whole rainbow and how each person used their color to create that monochromatic layout. I had blue so I tried to find blue photos and I used a lot of my Tim Holtz distress inks and oxide inks to do some stamping and some you know, little mixed media water dripping, and there's glitter, and there's stickles, and there's embossing powder. Uh, yeah, lots of stuff going on here. So go check out that layout process video as well as click on the link so you can you can see the whole rainbow. Uh, and this one is actually, there is a process video for this one. I haven't put it up yet. Uh, it was for my, oh, that glitter is getting everywhere. Sorry. <laughs> this was for the Everyday Inspiration August, um, sorry, September Inspiration, which was Christie's picture that sort of uh, was this really bright red blur of a slide with I think her daughter coming down the slide and so we were kind of challenged to either do something with really bright red colors or maybe pick photos that weren't super perfect that's what I went with I have a lot of these kind of grainy less than perfect photos that I when, when they come out I kind of just put them to the side and so I found a whole bunch of them that were all skylines these are all um, night skies where I live um, so it's the same view a lot of times but you know they're just not perfect and crystal clear and so I thought that that might be a fun way to be inspired by that photo and then I used some ink to kind of make some swipes and blur the background a little bit. Anyways, long story short, um, I haven't put the process video up yet, but I will put it up. So it's coming if you want to see how this all comes together. And then I, oh, I can't actually show you what's behind there because that is a layout that will be coming up in a couple of days. And that's it, that's all of my layouts for August and September, uh, apart from the Wild Whisper ones that just uh, are still with Susie and Heather. But 
there are process videos for those. So if you'd like to see them, I have a Wild Whisper playlist and you can go and click in there and see everything that I've been doing. If you have any questions at all for anything that you've seen, let me know in the comments down below. And up next, I will be showing you my kits for October and November. So until then, happy scrapping. Bye.